Hello everyone, welcome back to Hearthstone. Alright, let's begin another run. Um, once again, I'm hoping for a mage, since I have a daily quest that involves them, and I feel like playing them. Come on, mage. Hmm? Hmm? Yes, ooh, <laughs> there's a mage and a rogue. Well, I definitely have a lot of fun playing the rogue, but I do feel like playing mage, so let's go with mage. I don't particularly like any of these. Angry Chicken? Absolutely not. Secret Keeper? Depends on how many secrets I get. I don't really care for playing secrets, though, to be honest. I don't find them very fun to play. I think I'm just gonna go with Mind Control Tech. Yeah, alright. Ooh. It's gotta be- it's gotta be the Flame Strike. Like, really, I mean, <laughs> it has to be the Flame Strike. Hmm. Should I go with the Poly? I think I should go for some more removal. Yeah. Yeah, I probably should. And uh, like I said at on my last video, one change that I'm going to be making with how I approach uh, drafting a deck in Arena is that I'm going to focus more on low-cost creatures. See, I'm hoping to really buff up my 2 and 3 costers. The amount that I have. And yeah, we'll see how that works out. Hmm. Yeah. The Ethereal Al Arcanist. If you can actually get a secret to combo with that, can be anywhere from very good to mind-blowingly good if you can manage to keep them from killing it. I mean, this thing could just snowball out of control, but at the moment, I don't have any secrets, and like I said, I don't really like to play secrets. Mana Wraith is just weird. I don't really want to touch it. I guess I'll just Twilight Drake. Uh, I don't know. Am I likely to have that many cards? I... I don't know. Do I really want to bank on the Ethereal Arcanist? I really don't. I really don't. I'm gonna go with the Twilight. Frost Nova. Yes, please. Fireball? Should I just keep getting spells? Yeah, why not? More spells. Okay, let's go for some low costers now. I'm six cards in and I don't really have any solid low costers. The mind control tag I don't really consider a solid low coster. It's 3-3 uh, it's three, three for 3. I mean, that's not horrible, but it's not very good. I'd probably just Mana Worm. Mana Worm or Lepernome? Am I likely to be able to cast spells after playing the Mana Worm? I have quite a few, but the thing is, though, I'm not likely to use these early game. And early game is definitely where you'd want to use the Mana Worm the most, I would think. Not that it is an invalid play later on, of course. But I wonder if the Leper Gnome is just more reliable. Nah, I'll go with the Mana Worm. We'll see what happens. Let's have some fun. Oh, hi, secrets! Ice Barrier. Hmm. Well, I certainly don't want Ice Barrier. It's either Mirror Entity or Sorcerer's Apprentice. Let's go Sorcerer's Apprentice. Arcane Explosion. Hmm. AoE. I don't have any at the moment. Well, I mean, well, there's Flame Strike. So, yeah, I do have AoE. 
Uh, so it's just a really weak AoE compared to my Flame Strike. Do I really want that? I don't really want to use a card for that. Let's go with the River Crocolis. Wow. I'm kind of wishing I took the secret, uh... The secret-based cards. The ones that do stuff with secrets. Because, well, I could have gotten them and some secrets to boot. Right. Well. I don't want Counterspell. I don't want Wild Pyromancer. And a 4-3 for 3 is... Actually, a solid card on its own, even if I don't use the Battle Cry. So, yeah. Let's go for it. Mana Worm. Do I want another one? Maybe. Could go for a taunt. Ah, let's go for another one. Hmm. Another fireball? Another, or a cone of cold? I don't have one. Let's go with the fireball. I've got a lot of spells. Probably should get some more minions. Spells are great, but you kind of want actually you want to actually have minions on the board. Hmm. Darrell Alpha. I don't know if there's if there's at least one other minion on the board, then it's worth it. And if you have two, it can be extra worth it. Which makes me almost want to go with it, because again, I'm trying to focus on low costers. And I already have quite a few four costers, although only one four costing minion. Let's go with the Direwolf. Fairy Dragon. Do I want Silence? Well, it's always a good thing. I'm not sure if I want more removal. I mean, I have... I have a Flame Strike, a Polymorph, two Fireballs, a Frost Nova. And, okay, that's it, so it's not that much. Do I want to play Control? Control the board, punch him in the face? Maybe. Hmm. Let's go with the Spellbreaker. Could use some card draw. A <laughs> third Fireball. Do I want a third Fireball? I need cards. They really want me to have Frost Nova. Silverhand Knight. Frostbolt. Ooh. Acidic Swamp Ooze would be nice. I do need more minions, but Frostbolt's really good. I'd like a little bit more removal. Let's go with that, but I really need to take two costers now. Or lower. Okay, alright. I already have a silence, so I don't want the I don't want that. Mm, Elven Archer or Abusive Sergeant? The Elven Archer is really nice for just just fudging things a little bit in your favor. If you need one more damage to kill a minion, or maybe to pop a Divine Shield. But otherwise, it's not a good play. Like, it's, it's not really a good play early on. If you can't use it against a Divine Shield or something like that. Or outright killing a minion. Hmm. I'm gonna go with it. Some nice utility. Okay. Alarm robot, no. Master Swordsmith, maybe? Vaporize, maybe? Could combo with my Carantor Mage. Nah. Let's go with more two costers. Ooh, hello, Amani Berserker. Yes, please. They really want me to have Frost Nova. Maybe I should go with it. Do I want a Frost Wolf Warlord? Maybe. Do I want to freeze the entire board? Maybe. Do I want Ice Barrier? No. Hmm. 
I, I, I really don't want another Frost Nova, and the reason why is because it doesn't actually kill anything. So you're using a card, but you're not removing any of the cards that your opponent played. So... So, yeah, I mean, I, I don't really care for that that much. Let's go with the Frost Wolf. Okay, I don't want another Twilight Drake. I don't want a Wild Pyromancer, even if it is a two-coster. Well, maybe I do. Maybe I do. It's a 3-2 for two. Maybe. Vaporize. I mean, you could use Vaporize to save your ass. If it's, say, near the end of the game and you're going to be attacked by something huge. But... Let's go with the Wild Pyromancer. Well, hell. I think it'd probably be better just to go with the Mirror Image instead of the Shield Bearer if I wanted Taunt. It's the same amount of stats, but divided into two different characters, which makes it much harder to kill. In general. I mean, it's more susceptible to AoEs, of course, but... Most likely, they're not going to be killed by an AoE. More likely, it's going to be with minions. So it would require at least two attacks to kill both of these, whereas it would only require maybe one to kill the Shield Bearer. And I already have three one-costers, so... Like, one-coster minions I don't really need. I guess I could use Taunt. And if I'm going with Taunt, I might as well go with Mirror Image, so... Yeah. Lord of the Arena. Or another Silverhand Knight. Hmm. I think Silverhand Knight. Ooh. Another flame strike, thank you very much. Alright, more low costers, please. Ancient Watcher, that is a weird card, and I don't really know what to do with it. It can't attack. So I don't that's probably better in constructed play. If you can combo it with Um What's it called? The What what is it called? The the guy who gives plus one plus one to adjacent minions and also gives them taunt. He, for example. Combined with the Ancient Watcher, could be very, very good. Hmm. Did I ever end up taking a single secret? I don't think I did, did I? I'm looking through the list right now. No. So... Ethereal Organist would not really be good. Uh, let's go to Stampede and Kodo. I really need some lower costers. Come on, come on. Okay, that's better. More card draw? How much card draw do I have? I have a... Acolyte of Pain. Wait, is that all I have for card draw? Ooh. Hmm. What's more important, card draw or a Scarlet Crusader? Alright, how many low costers do I have? I have three low costing, uh, one coster minions. I guess you can kind of consider you have two with mirror image, but I'm going to ignore that because it's a spell. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven two costers. Not bad. Not bad. I've only got two three-costers, or three three-costers, rather. Hmm. Let's go with the Scarlet Crusader. Cone of Cold. Should I go with that? Or Sengen Shieldmaster? Let's go this engine. Two Goster, please. Ooh. 
Defender of Argus, that's the card I was thinking of. It's a four-coster, but it's pretty damn good. All right, well, I didn't get any Pyroblasts, which I would have liked. I don't have any particularly large minions, and I didn't get as many low-cost minions as I would have liked, but I don't know, we'll see how it is. I have the gnawing feeling in my gut that I just drafted a really, really bad deck. I don't know, it's got two fireballs and two flame strikes. Wait, do I have two flame strikes? Or is it one? I think I have two. Jane versus Thrall. For Doomhammer. You asked for it. Okay, well, I don't want any of that. That's not much better. Uh, Hello. That's absolutely horrible. That that is freaking horrible. Well, GG. I've already lost. Please have one health. That doesn't have one health. Do I even bother shooting that with my fireball? I mean, next turn I'm probably going to play the Carantor Mage. <laughs> Which is just going to die to it. I yeah, this is going very poorly so far. Yeah, I'm, I I quite possibly have already lost, just based on what's happened so far. Oh, another Silver Hand Knight! How perfect. Jesus. We have many secrets. Right, next turn, maybe Twilight Drake. What to do? Shields up. All right, well, I was going to kill that thing anyway with my Carantor Mage. I've already taken 10 damage and I'm on turn four. Yay! Oh, hi, Flame Strike. You'd be nice right about now, but I can't play you. Right. I complete the Twilight Drake. It'd be pretty powerful, but... But... They have a lot of damage on the board. Well, maybe not that much. I mean, if I kill that, there's going to be four damage potential on the board. Alternatively, I get a Taunt up and... You know, maybe I should just play the Taunt. Because I can kill this, and then they shouldn't be able to break through my Taunt with my Ascension. Two damage, two damage, that is five health. It's probably the best play. And it would kill anything that attacks it. Yes, do that. Oh no, never mind, they can kill it. That's right, adjacent minions. Now that's adjacent, so yeah. But still, that's fine. Two cards for one, I'll take it. Assuming they don't just remove it or something. Stays alive. Hmm. Choosing who to sacrifice. Yep, that's what I would have done too. Mm 
Mmm, Stampeding Code was a nice play. Kill that, take that down to a 2-2. Two -two. Alternatively, Silverhand Knights, but no, I like the Stampeding Kodo more. What to do? What to do? Well, at least I have a lot of power in my hand. Could Twilight Drake and Fire Blast or Silverhand Knight next turn? Or Polymorph and Fire Blast? Lovely. A ton. Oh god, what do you have? You're scaring me. Anytime a card hovers over the board, it's scary. Like, what are they gonna play? What are they gonna play? Don't be something nasty. What to do? There's little time. They're really debating over something. What are they debating over? Okay. You know what I think I'm gonna do? Hmm. Yeah, okay. Is there any reason to attack that? Actually, it doesn't really matter with my plan. Yeah, why not? Okay. Squire, attend me. Job done. Ready, sir. All right. Build up a taunt wall that hopefully this turn they won't be able to... The most they'll be able to do is just get through it. I mean, uh, just break it down, but not actually get to me. And I'm hoping they play a bunch more minions, and I can flame strike it all next turn. That's my hope. Create a wall, protect myself, have them play a bunch more minions, and then I burn it all to the ground. Please play a bunch of moderately powerful stuff and not one huge thing. Uh, it's okay, though. I could still do... Well, I could polymorph it, I guess. Okay. Didn't exactly work out... Ideally, ooh, ooh. Okay, well, I can't use any stuff and flame strike. Um, um, um. I have no more taunt, so it's basically now or never. Maybe I should just polymorph it. And then what? Hmm. Yeah, okay. You know what? Flame Strike sounded nice, but actually... That seems better. Hopefully now they play a bunch more creatures. I really, really want them to play a bunch of creatures. Come on, empty your hand onto the board. It's ready and waiting for you. It's all empty. Play the cards you know you want to. Come on. I wonder. Please don't be a taunt. Ooh, it's not. Actually, that's going to be good for them. Got to get that up to a 2-3. Hmm. 
And that doesn't work with Flame Strike either. I just got attacked by a sheep. The shame. Ooh, mind control tech. Hmm. I might be able to get the Smiteful Smith. There's a one in four chance. Let's see what we get. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I got so lucky. So, so lucky. Alright, do I wipe the board or just attack him in the face? I should probably just attack him in the face. Should I play my silver? Yeah. Well, we're gonna do this. Do I play my stuff? Or should I just keep it in my hand? Could they do anything to wipe the board? I don't know. I'm gonna play this. I Honestly, I don't know what shamans have to wipe the board. So I'm not sure whether I should have kept that in my hand, since I don't really need it next turn for lethal. Maybe I should have. I probably should have. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I had lethal next turn, regardless of what they do at the moment, but... I don't know. Well, that's not going to do anything. That's it's still... Gee, gee, well played. Well played. I do have lethal, right? Oh yeah, certainly. Alright, two more wins for my daily quest. Alright, for once I actually won the first game. Wow. That doesn't happen often. Now can I do that 11 more times and get to 12 wins? 12 wins, here we come. Probably not. Man, if I could get to 12 wins just once, just, just once, just once. 12 wins just once. Jaina versus Jaina. My magic will tear you apart. Elven Archer, yes, no, no. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. I could use the Elven Archer to enrage my Amani Berserker. And obviously playing it right now is a terrible idea because it would just die to the hero ability. Let's go ahead and play this thing. Hello. I really wish I had the coin. Hello. Actually, no, never mind. That doesn't matter. I was thinking I could enrage the Amani Berserker in the same turn with the Elven Archer on turn two, but then it wouldn't be able to attack that turn, so who cares? Okay. Hmm. That thing's gonna be a bother. Hmm. What to do? Uh, this is kind of awkward. What? What's the best play here? I could kill it by using my hero ability and my creature on the board, but is that a good idea? I could play my Almani Berserker, and they could maybe suicide it. Mm. I'm gonna play that. They could simply suicide their sorcerer's apprentice. Into it, in which case it's a fair trade. Two coster for a two coster, and they'd leave my mana worm alive. They could have a spell, I suppose, especially with the your spells cost one less. 
I don't know. I, I really want to use the Elven Archer on the Amani Berserker. Okay, okay, good for... Oh, crap, what is that? Uh. Okay. Well. 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 Do I just leave that thing on the board? I think I should kill it. I could sacrifice my mana worm. What to do? What to do? I don't know what that secret is, though. Uh, I'm probably gonna regret this. 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 Am I gonna regret this? What is it? <gasps> I didn't regret it. Oh. Okay. I honestly, I can almost never remember what the hell secrets people have. I know hunters have snake trap, explosive thingamajig. And, whoa, you've got nothing? You're gonna leave my 5 2 on the board? Okay. I'm perfectly fine with that. Do I fireball them in the face? No. What are they doing? Like, I'm suspicious. Either they have really bad cards in their hand, or... They have some sort of a plan involving health. Do they have, like, a lava... What's it called? Molten Giant? Locking me down. Okay, but they still don't have any minions on the board. And I can go ahead and do... This. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. What are they doing? I'm suspicious. Like, I don't know if this is a master play, or... If they just don't have good cards. I'm confused. Okay. Forecasting spell. Nope, don't have a spell. In fact, I think I have lethal, but... Well, hold on, let me check. So, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 plus 6, which is 15. That's not lethal. Um, and what they have might be the thing that prevents them from dying that turn. So, well, I certainly have plenty of control in my hand. I could kill anything they put out in the future. What to do? Right, so I kind of want to shut down this mana worm. And I believe I should... Yeah, I kind of want to shut that down. I mean, I can control what they have on the board. I, I don't really need to worry about that too much. I think I might just shoot them in the face. But I'm worried they're going to play something huge. Which is why I'll hold on to that. Okay, let's just take care of that. I'd rather leave a 4-4 on the board. I guess rather than make it a 4-1 and keep it alive. Do I kill that? No. I mean, I can leave that there because I'm just going to flame strike everything to death. Actually, I guess I should have left the mana worm since it's going to flame strike. Mm. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought they had a spell next turn. Yeah, I guess I should have left it alive. I don't know, I would have taken more damage with it, but still. Alright, there's really no reason to flame to uh, flame strike. I'm really suspicious of what they're playing. Like, I feel like they're going to put out some Molten Giants or something. I'm feeling that. That's kind of why I want to keep hold of my Fireball. Which is precisely what I will do.
Alright, at this point, I think they could play a free Molten Giant if they had it. I think it costs 20 by default, right? And then one less for every damage you've taken? Truth is my no. Okay. Maybe I'm just... <laughs> messing with my own mind here. Polymorph would be nice. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, probably shouldn't hold on to the fireball. Okay, okay. Hmm. No, that's not gonna work. What to do? What to do? I almost think I should just pling that thing and then hit it with a fireball to kill it. What to do? What I feel like I should. It's gonna help. Just get that thing out there. I'm probably gonna suicide that before I use my flame strike. Well played. Thanks. Are you saying the game's over? What? What's your secret? In fact, wait. At this point, doesn't the secret have to be the thing? Ow! Doesn't the secret have to be the thing where it keeps them alive? So they're not dead this turn? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. All right. What to do? What to do? Wow, this is kind of awkward. Uh I can play the Twilight Drake and get a crappy creature on the board. I really need to pop this. Which means I need to do damage to them. I could Flame Strike, but that would kill my Scarlet Crusader and my Wild Pyromancer. Right, let's go ahead and do this. Yep. Of course. I knew that was coming. Hmm. I could flame strike, which would kill everything they have, but it would kill my stuff too. And then this is gonna die next turn to their hero ability. Uh. Fuck it. YOLO. Oh yeah, that happens. I forgot about Sylvanas' ability. Then again, would it have mattered? I mean... Well, if I attacked it, that would have... I don't know. That was confusing to me. That was really confusing to me for some reason. I pretty much had the game in the bag, but I think I might have just thrown it away by doing something stupid. Now, I could flame strike their entire board. Which is probably precisely what I should do. What to do? What to do? Bring me steel. This is- this just got awkward. Sorry, someone actually talked to me. What'd you say? Oh yeah, they're doing Battle in the Arena. That sounded like a Boulder Fist Ogre. Oh no, it's that thing. Ah, okay. Right. Do I have any direct damage abilities? Hmm. I sure hope they don't have flame strike. 
If they do, I'm gonna laugh. Like I'm pretty sure I had this game, but I that was so that confused me so much. The wild pyromancer and everything, and all the stuff that was oh god, and all the stuff that was in play. Like I just didn't know what to do. Right. Well, I can just kill them with my hero ability at this rate. Oh, well, it doesn't even matter. GG. Yeah, I'm not used to fighting against Sylvanas. I don't think my response to her was very good. I guess I should have attempted to kill her... Uh, I guess I should have sacrificed my Silverhand Knight. I mean, I was going to lose everything regardless. There's pretty, pretty much no doubt about that. I guess I should have, should have sacrificed it just so they can't get it. And then... I don't know. You know, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure every time I've played Mage in the Arena, which is, what, two times, I think? I've never gotten a Pyroblast. Hmm. Hmm. Do I want the Wild Pyromancer this early? Sure, why not? He's fun. But I don't want the Spellbreaker. Ooh, nice. Nice. Very nice. Turn one, Almani Berserker. And then turn two Wild Pyromancer. Or I could trigger my own Amani Berserker, assuming they have nothing to play. And they're certainly not going to hit my Amani Berserker with their hero power, because I would be incredibly stupid. Although I welcome them to do incredibly stupid things, because that would, well, save me the mana of triggering it myself. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, this is going to get interesting. Right. Right. Hmm. I want to trigger it now just to get the damage out of it. Or I could Wild Pyromancer. And attack. I feel like it might be better just to get the damage out of it right now. But should I put something else on the board? I mean, okay. I ping this, I hit them, they're going to just sacrifice their Armani Berserker. Into it. Probably. If I play the Wild Pyromancer and attack, they're just going to probably hit that in the face with their hero ability. And then... <sighs> Decisions, it's so hard. I'll get this out. I'm not sure which one's better. I playing this, I do 5 damage to them, and then they take it out with their minion. I do this, I get another minion on the board. They can kill this by hitting it in the face, and then using their Almani Berserker against it. Or they don't. Okay, they didn't want to do that. Alright. I'm thinking... I wonder. I'm thinking kill that thing, play the Mana Worm, and piss you off. Next turn I could maybe protect it with my Sengen Shield Master. Keep that early pressure around. Of course, they probably have some sort of removal spell, I would imagine. Or if they really want, they can punch it. Yeah, of course. 
Ooh, nice. First win, congrats. So what are they going to do? Do they have something else? Oh, they comboed it. Nice. Wow, they sacrificed that into that. Instead of punching in the face. That actually makes sense, I guess. Alright. I think Senjin. Yeah, it wouldn't die and it would kill everything they would throw at it. So, yeah. Well, that mana worm might stay there the whole damn game. <laughs> Maybe I can finally buff it when I get to my flame strike. Next turn, I can Acolyte of Pain or Scarlet Crusader plus Hero Power. Or I could Spell Break something particularly nasty, maybe. Nice buff, but yeah. If they attacked, it wouldn't have actually changed anything. Ooh, I can defend her Vargas myself. Okay. Okay. That wouldn't actually put it out of range of being killed, though. But it would buff up my Mana Worm. Then again, it would also make it so my Mana Worm could be killed, because then it would be one of the taunts. So that's probably not a great idea. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm is right. I don't really know what to do. I really don't. So they could bust through my wall, then have three damage left over. Which they probably use to kill my Mana Worm. Alright. Hmm. Never mind, they only have to use one. But, if anything attacks the Scarlet Crusader, it is going to die. Which is why they're going to avoid it, which makes sense. I kind of want to bait them into a flame strike. I wonder. I kind of do. Yeah. Do you think they'd notice that's that's what I'm trying to do? Try to keep my minions on the board. Hope they they have so much damage potential potential that they just think oh, I'm just gonna go for them, and then I kill everything they have. Because if I do that, I can't play Defender of Vargas because it's going to give them taunt. I don't want them to have taunt. Bring me steel. Let the pain speak to me. I am prepping that for a flame strike. I'm hoping they ignore what I have on the board. Ooh, and they have enough mana to play it again. But it doesn't matter, it's gonna get flame striked. And even the ancient brewmaster is gonna die to a flame strike. Yes, yes, yes. And that's gonna die to a flame strike. Oh, they're not gonna replay it right now. Okay. Yes, ignore what I have, ignore what I have. Oh, oh it's so tempting. I have to flame strike. Oh. I wasn't sure if that was gonna work. And it's even gonna buff my mana worm. Of course, I don't have much damage potential on the board. But still. It's time. 
Okay. Oh, the graphics are totally bugged out, aren't they? Is this a card that's supposed to... Ooh. Is this a card that's supposed to be in their hand? Yes, it is. It was just hanging out on the board for some reason. Right, that can die to the Elven Archer. Ah, uh, that weapon's gonna destroy everything I have on the board, I guess. Four, five, six, seven. What to do? What to do? Where am I gonna play the Defender of Argus? Where am I gonna put that? Second win. Congrats. Okay. Hmm. Do I kill that? Alright, now they're forced to use their Assassin's Blade on my piddly little Elven Archer. Ah! Or they could do that. Still, though. I'm still in a pretty good spot. Oh, they're going for me. Wait, do I have lethal on the board? Hold on. Oh god, I probably have lethal now. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have lethal. GG. It's time. Bring the pain. Well played. Ah! Ooh. I'm on a winning streak. I'm really, really surprised at that, given how my previous games have gone. And there's a daily quest. Wow, three wins and no losses. That... I haven't had such a winning streak for... I, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever even had this kind of a winning streak before. I know that I did surprisingly good when I first started playing. And then my more recent games have been relatively mediocre. Been... 2-3, three, 3-3, three, three, and then occasionally a 4-3. But this is looking pretty good. Jaina versus Jaina. You asked for it. My magic will tear you apart. Man worm, yes, you and you know. Really? Both of my fireballs? Seriously? <laughs> it's like a pyroblast. Okay, it's kind of creepy that we're both saying literally the exact same sound file. It's like we're clones, which, well, I guess we are. Mm. That is a very good card to play against someone who can do damage with their hero power because they can't target it. Of course, I have no turn three play. Hmm. Do I kill that or go for them? I should probably trade for it, because otherwise they could take out my Mana Worm and not die. Which means if I use my other minion to kill it, it would... What to do? What to do? Which means if I use my other minion to kill it, they would kill two for one, which is very bad for me. Or I could Hero Power to kill it, but that would take up Mana. And that way I couldn't play a Fireball or a Polymorph, which I'm... Well, let's be fair, I'm pretty unlikely to actually play that. Unless... I 
Actually, I could kill it. I could kill it without using my fireballs or my polymorph. I could ping it and direwolf alf. Ooh, that's going to give him two cards. Hmm. That's a really good play against what I have, actually. I kind of want to just kill that. Like, I kind of want to go nuclear on it and just... Just kill it. Hmm. Crap. I wonder. Do I? On such a puny card? Ah, fuck it. Screw your acolyte of pain. Maybe an overreaction, but they have a lot of cards and I don't. I don't want them to have even more cards. That is also a very good play. I almost want to polymorph that. But I should probably Silver Hand Knight. <laughs> I could fireball it. I, c I could fireball that thing and get a 3-3 on the board, but should I be using my fireball on these things? I don't know. It seems kind of like a waste. Silverhand Knight seems like it gets more on the board. Because, well, it does. What to do? Right. Fire, attend me. Ready, sir. Hopefully I don't regret that. Of course, I can freeze anything I have on the board. And kill some of it. And it's not going to die. But... But that still leaves me with a lot of damage potential. Hmm. Next turn I can Direwolf Alpha and Defender Vargas. Really? You're going for me? Okay. Why? Ah, okay. Fair enough, that makes sense. But it's okay, because I have another. Okay, now I kind of want to fireball that thing. Should I fireball it? I feel like I should. Yeah, okay. It's gonna buff up the things that cannot die to a simple pling of the Fire Blast. I'm trying to get a lot of damage out before they probably... Uh, they're probably gonna... Uh... Oh, Jesus Christ. And they're probably gonna flame strike, right? Jesus. I feel like I shouldn't play anything. Any, anything I play will die to a flame strike. Like, I really feel like I shouldn't play a single thing. Should I just play nothing? But then they start playing stuff, and then they'll flame strike. So what? I, I need to bait it out of them, don't I? I'm almost certain they have a flame strike in their hand. Look at how many cards they have. If I played everything I could, it. <laughs> well, if they didn't have one before, they have it now. I need them to play their flame strike, but the thing is, now they can't. And I can still do six damage. Whoa. Did they. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I was thinking. Are they really not going to kill my Silverhand Knight with their hero power? It'd be a waste. Alright, they almost certainly have a flame strike, so I don't really want to play much on the board. But. 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 
I could do five damage with you. The thing is, I really want to combo the Defender of Argus with the Silverhand Knight. That'd be a really nice play. I really do, and I can combo that next turn. Get two things out, and Defender of Argus, both of them. So... Play you. I really want to bait a Flame Strike out of him. Yeah. I know you have Flame Strike. Come on, just use it. I think they're waiting for me to put a bunch of stuff on the board, but I'm not. Yeah, and the nice thing about the Defender of Argus Silverhand Knight play is that it would create a 5-5. Uh, five five, which is just out of Flame Strike range. Although by the turn that they can play Flame Strike on them, they would have 9 mana, which means they could Flame Strike and Hero Power to kill it. So, oh! Okay, you're doing the same sort of thing. Fair enough. Right. It's kind of awkward. I know they have a flame strike. They must have a flame strike. Come on. They have a flame strike. Right, well, I have no way of punching through their wall this turn. I mean, I could punch it down, but I can't punch through it at them. I could polymorph that and kill that. Alright, let's polymorph that. Kill that. Maybe I'll get my own flame strike. And... There we go. If you want my Scarlet Crusader, you're gonna have to sacrifice your entire board or playing it and Flame Strike. Which against a single enemy is not a very good idea. <sighs> I really wish I had a Pyroblast. I almost wish I didn't use my fireballs on those things, because if I had both my fireballs, I have 12 damage in hand. Oh my god. Right. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay. Right, well, I, I can't play around an assumed flame strike forever, because if I don't do anything, I'm going to die. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. Do I just play everything? Well, okay, I'm going to do this. Do I mirror image? No. They're probably just about to flame strike, right? Come on, flame strike. If they do, it's it's GG. But I had to play that. No. Okay. They don't. They don't have flame strike. I'm still probably gonna lose. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna lose. <laughs> Do one damage to everything on the board. Well, pretty much have to, right? Yes, I do like to play with fire. Into the breach. 
All right. That'll protect me for a little bit. But if they have another fireball, I'm dead. If they have a power blast, I'm dead. GG. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have used my fireballs against the minions. I I don't know. I mean, I killed that Acolyte of Pain. Like, I wouldn't nuclear on that Acolyte of Pain. <laughs> and yet they still ended up with a shit ton of cards. So I don't know if that actually really helped. But I'm 3-1. I'm still happy. I will toss those. Acolyte of Pain, should I keep you? Yes. That's not very good at all. That's absolutely horrible. Come on. Should I act light of pain? Yeah, let's do it. Pain speak to me. Bash that into that, get an extra card, then I can play my Scarlet Crusader. there. That's gonna give me a card. I'll take it. Thank you. That gives me another card. Thank you. Yeah, I definitely need more early... Jesus Christ, I definitely need more early costing creatures. I have a decent amount in my draft, but that is not good. I think the mirror image and then Master Swordsmith probably makes the most sense. This is gonna die to both other creatures, but then that would be two for one. It's not bad. This would also two for one, which is why I should probably play that. Play that. It's a lower cost creature and should kill everything they have on the board. Well, never mind about that. In that case, the Scarlet Crusader would have been a better play. Ooh, nice. Very, very nice play. A 5-4 on turn 4. Well, GG. I concede. No. <laughs> okay. Mirror image seems rather nice right about now. Okay, let's... I was going to play the Scarlet Crusader behind the mirror image, but instead... 
Let's do this, let's protect it and buff it, and I will kill that. Okay. Now next turn I could take out the Direwolf Alpha with my Stampeding Kodo. Or I could Silverhand Knight. Or I could Scarlet Crusader and Hero Power. Okay, good. Absorb the dam. Oh, great. Hmm. What do you think that could be? Explosive Trap? Snake Trap? Hmm. The Stampede and Kodo doesn't really look like a very good play. Because that thing's still not dead anytime soon. I'm once again looking to the fireball. Polymorph it. Nah, then they have enough. Alright, I'm gonna fireball it. I'm gonna do it. Alright, is this an explosive trap? Because if it is, then this is a good time to find out. No! What the hell is it then? Is it snake trap that triggers when you attack a minion? It might be. It, it might be snake trap. Fourth win! Wow. Doing really good. A shaman. I don't know how to play shamans. I, I don't like overload. It drives me crazy. Okay. Well, Stampeding Kodo has a... V well, 50% uh, chance of killing... A four coster, which would be extremely good. Or it could kill that. Which would suck. So, what do I do about that? Well, there's nothing I can do. Yellow! <laughs> snake trap? It's snake trap. Alright, that's not bad. I mean, Snake Trap could easily be comboed with Starving Buzzard or Scavenging Hyena. And since it wasn't, it's less than ideal. Well, actually, they still could combo it, but... with... Ooh. That is a very angry snake. Oh my god. They managed to get some decent Hunter cards in Arena. I'm impressed. Frost Nova seems nice. But then what's my play after that? Well, I could just Flame Strike. In fact, I should probably just Flame... They only have one guard. I should probably just Flame Strike. What to do? What to do? Or... You know what's probably better than Flame Strike? Instead of flame striking now, why don't I do Frost Nova, freeze everything I have on the board, and get some stuff out at the same time? And then if they play more, I can just flame strike it. What to do? What to do? Let's do that. Carantor Mage. I need some damage on the board, and this is a lot of damage. Let's go with that. Alright, I'm hoping they play some more stuff so I can flame strike it. They've done a lot of early damage to me, but they ha they're they pretty much out of cards. Oh, no! No! That's not good. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, no, I don't have enough mana! Oh. No, they have taunt anyway, it wouldn't matter. 
If I can kill that thing, I could get the damn hyenas out of it and then kill them with flame strike, but oh, that's never gonna happen. Okay. Well, this is awkward. I really want to polymorph that damn thing. Okay, if I polymorph it, how much damage am I gonna take? I'm gonna take nine da- I'm gonna take nine damage, and with their hero ability? No, I can't. I can't do that. I can't even kill that damn thing this turn. I pretty much have to flame strike. Well Thank you, but I'm pretty sure I'm still dead. Now, do I attack you or do I attack that? I'm gonna attack you. I'm hoping you don't sacrifice it because then I can polymorph it and get rid of those two two hyenas. Those two, two, two hyenas. Oh dear God, I'm pretty sure I've lost the hero power alone. Are you gonna sacrifice it? Okay, good, you didn't. Still though. Okay. How do I can li if I kill everything on the board, I can live one more turn of hero power. So I need tons of damage on the board and I need to kill everything on the board, which is impossible. So yeah. I could spell break that thing and then pling it off. That leaves me with three mana to do what? I'm still dead. Hmm. <laughs> Freaking buffed sheep. <sighs> Well played. Thank you, but I'm still dead. My shield for Argon. For Dalaran. I mean, I'm, I'm just. There's no way. I need to kill them next turn, or they will kill me with their hero power alone. Yeah, it's GG. At least I got another daily quest. Cool. Wow, three wins in a row and then two losses in a row. Wouldn't it just be perfectly symmetrical if I won three times and then lost three times? Another mage. Great. You asked for it. My magic will tear you apart. I will keep the mirror image, but no flame strikes. That's much better. Hello. Hello. Lord Mandible. Nice, nice. Let's go with the fairy dragon. Since it could kill that and not die at the same time. Unless they buff it up. First loss. Mel 4 1. That's damn good. What are you gonna. Oh, yep. Oh, wow. Okay. That thing's definitely gonna die. And that gives them an early advantage. They have a bunch more cards. And I still won't have any damage on the board. whoop de doo Alternatively... Maybe I should play the River Crocolisk. And just go for the face. Let's do that. Let's do damage behind my wall. And let's hope I don't regret it. Alright, I kind of regret it. 
I kind of regret it. Right. So I kind of just need to wipe the board at this point. Yeah, there's really no way around it, is there? I could freeze, but then I can't attack past the wall. I could kill that and then freeze one creature, which is kind of dumb. Alright. They have so many cards, it's kind of scary. <laughs> if only that had one less attack, Stampeding Coda would be amazing. Into Silverhand Knight. Yep. I'm not going to attack. There's no reason to. Great. Ah, <sighs> abomination. I might as well just reset the board again. I should just reset the board. I mean, everything's going to die, right? I'd use those to kill that. What to do? What to do? Yeah, I think. All right. A 4-4 four, four for 4! The best card ever played. Well. I really can't touch that. At all. I could freeze it. Should I freeze it? I wonder. Do I want to freeze a Boulder Fist Ogre? If I don't, I'm going to take a lot of damage. If you get low, it's very dangerous. There's a Pyroblast and Fireball. Alright. I'm going to save my silence. They could Flame Strike. Which would screw me over because I still can't touch their Boulder Fist Ogre. Is that Flame Strike? Are you thinking of flame striking? You gonna flame strike? You gonna flame strike, aren't you? No. All right. Oh, okay. Three mana, and they didn't do anything. Hmm. None of these are good plays. None. I'm thinking Frostwolf Warlord because it's the one that's least likely to be useful in the future. 
I'm unlikely to get any significant amount of minions on the board from this point on. Where silence or killing a two I think a two or less attack could be useful. Alright, yeah. I'm doing damage to them, but they're about to start doing a lot of damage to me. Ooh. Do you have two fireballs? Am I dead? No. But Jesus Christ. Wow. Flame strike. Flame strike. I could. What's the alternative? Sacrifice everything I have? That actually flame strike makes the most sense. What to do? What to do? I get flame strike and then sacrifice my mind control tech. Hit him for five and then ping him in the face. Yeah. <laughs> They're probably all paranoid that I have a pyroblast or something. Little do they know, I don't. I wish I did. Well played. You have a, you have a fuck. Well played. <sighs> if only I had a pyroblast. I won three times in a row, and then I lost three times in a row. <sighs> Will I ever get to 12 wins? I'm beginning to think the answer is no. It'll happen at some point. I mean, it has to happen through blind luck alone, if nothing else. Fifty gold in the pack. It's actually really good. I broke even. Three wins, broke even. Equality. Yeah, what's the combo with equality? Isn't it, um... Isn't it equality and consecration? That is a paladin AoE, right? Everything gets one health, and then you do one damage to everything, which wipes the board. Or at least wipes the enemy's board. Or does consecration apply to the entire board? Or is it just the enemies? I don't remember. And, anyway. Well... I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon with more arena runs.